today's sort of mission is a little bit of a nature conservation effort next to me here i've got my mia kazu donovan who also just happens to be my real cousin um so that works out quite nicely um and the plan for today is when we were flying with the drone up to check the poaching poaching fence um there by the communal bird's nest uh, we noticed some droppings from dussies and rabbits but with this winter being so dry as you can see this place is pretty much grey um, there is not an abundance of food and so we thought we would try give them some food uh, especially because it's too dangerous for the dussies and the bunnies to come down to where we have our feeding spots here by the cabin and everywhere else um, with the civets the gannets and the servals like running around it's they're more likely to be eaten than get any food for themselves so the plan today is to take some food up with the big t40 agricultural drone that kazi yeah. over here will um introduce. explain a little bit more so we're using an agricultural drone that we uh, we're actually using to spread fertilizer over the fields for for the farmers but the reason why we're not using the fertilizer spreader because it's going to be spreading the food too wide so we have this device designed by Bromberg Dynamics and the engineer is uh, Selby. Selby and so how it will be working we will be filling it about halfway yeah about halfway um, we're gonna fill the bucket halfway with some rabbit food so it's gonna be kind of weighty but definitely not too weighty for the drone and then we've got this really nice lightweight um, release mechanism that as we mentioned was designed by Selby um, that will release the bucket of the food into the area for the dussies and the bunnies and Kazi Don will sort of demonstrate yeah, how it works in a second. And then three, two, one. Food for everybody. Yeah. <laughs> like compared to the little air air to air, um, this T40, we can put like five of I mean more than fifty. 50, 50 of these little guys in in this thing. Um, this is the drone that we use for Meerkat Patrol, and I guess this is the drone that we're using for Meerkat Kitchen, yeah, Soup Kitchen. <laughs> so the plan from here on out is that I'm going to take off with the baby drone, um, move over a little bit so that I can film uh, Meerkat Don taking off with the larger drone, the T40, and from there, I'm going to follow him as we head towards the communal bird's nest or, you know, our, our area of operations for today. And we'll hopefully try to get some really cool footage of the releasing of the food into the area. Over there. Oh yeah. Where did you go? Did you go up? Okay, I'm gonna fly a little bit to your right. Okay. Can you see the bucket? Yeah. Okay, release it. We're gonna release. Okay, three, two, one. Ah, oh, perfect. Uh, 
I think today was a massive success. We successfully managed to get some food up to where the former bird's nest was. Um, big thanks to Mia Kazi Don for amazing flying skills and for the use of the, the T40. Um, also big thank you to Bronberg Dynamics for your contributions to our nature conservation efforts. Um, we've got a link in the description for anybody else who it might be interested in their business. It's in aerodynamic um, re-engineering. Uh, they specialize in R&D. Um, and I think from here on out it's a really good means of delivering food to some of the more remote areas. That doesn't require us hiking up the mountain for three hours. Fantastic. Yeah, this is a fly. <laughs>